These are Wi-Fi routers that you use every day. Latency plays a critical role in the first-person shooter video game. Video game players must know that. To find out the latency from your computer to the Wi-Fi router, we can use the network latency test tool, like ping, to ping the Wi-Fi router. The question is, how big the latency is? 5 millisecond or 10 millisecond? Now you have 3 seconds to think about it. Time is up. The answer is 2 to 3 millisecond. This is the answer given by Quora if you search the question on the internet. We also did some tests, and indeed, the answer is true in most cases. When the Wi-Fi channel is not busy and the signal strength is good, the latency could be as low as 1 millisecond. Please remember the 1 millisecond. Now I will show you a Wi-Fi system. Let's see what about the latency of this Wi-Fi system. The system is simple. There is a Wi-Fi client that is connected to a Wi-Fi router. Now I log in to Linux on the Wi-Fi client. As you can see, it is associated with a Wi-Fi router that has the SSID Open Wi-Fi. Let's start to ping the Open Wi-Fi router to find out the latency. Wait, I can't believe it. The latency is only 0.2 or 0.3 milliseconds. Yes, you have to believe your eyes. The latency indeed is 0.2 or 0.3 milliseconds for real. Why the latency of this Wi-Fi system is so good? Because here the Wi-Fi client and Wi-Fi router both use an open source Wi-Fi chip, which is known as Open Wi-Fi. Hi everyone, this is Xian Jun Jiao. I'm now working in ID Lab, which is a joint lab between Ghent University and iMac. iMac means Inter-University Microelectronics Center. It is a Belgian R&D hub for nano and digital technologies established by the Flemish government. It's based in Leuven, Belgium. In December the 12th, 2019, we have published our open source Wi-Fi chip design project, Open Wi-Fi, on GitHub. For now, Open Wi-Fi is not a real Wi-Fi chip or ASIC yet. The design runs on IPGA verification platform. But as you can see in the demo, this IPGA behaves just like a real Wi-Fi chip already. Even better. You don't need to write down the GitHub address of our project. Just search Open Wi-Fi on internet. You will find our GitHub page. Till today, July the 5th, 2020, our GitHub page has achieved around 820 stars and 120 folks. If you open the GitHub IPG topic ranking page, Open Wi-Fi project has climbed to rank 8 or rank 7. Open Wi-Fi is now sitting together in the top 10 list with other hot IPG projects like Machine Learning and RISC-V. After our project was online, I also wrote a Twitter on this. As expected, the news attracted attention rapidly from the Society of Software Defined Radio, Embedded System, Wireless Security, and Wi-Fi Research. Then it went really beyond our imagination, because the Twitter got 170k views and the demo video got 26k plays in a short time. Why can we get so much attention? I think one reason could be that some KOL in the related domain retweet our news. But I think more importantly, it's because people have been expecting such a project for many years. After the project was online, we did observe that some universities and institutes picked it up quickly. After they ran the Open Wi-Fi demo successfully, some of them have used it for the summer research intern project and master thesis. Meanwhile, on GitHub, many people also give us valuable feedback and bug reports. Some of them did expose bugs of our design that we didn't realize before. We fix them and keep updating the code repository by publishing new releases. Beyond the research domain, some industrial companies also come to us to discuss the customization for their special applications. All these activities are strong supports to our project. We appreciate all your help. 
All right. After all the previous introductions, perhaps there were lots of question marks in your minds. You might think that open Wi-Fi seems like yet another Wi-Fi chip. Then why do people feel so excited about this project? What is our motivation behind the open Wi-Fi project? What are the main differences between open Wi-Fi and other commercial Wi-Fi chips? As a research tool, what are the main differences between open Wi-Fi and other research tools? Which situation open Wi-Fi is a good choice? In which situation it is not? Why can open Wi-Fi achieve such a low latency? Which IPGA platform should I choose if I want to use open Wi-Fi for my research? What is the roadmap of the open Wi-Fi project? Don't worry, there will be more open Wi-Fi short videos to answer all the questions. Just stay tuned.